good morning. It's a great day to start our day with a little bit of our favorite beverageino. Hi, Smiley. Are you excited? At a beautiful, wonderful, fabulous establishment to get our paws wet. It's the most strangest, random dog park in the world. And that's a helicopter thing. And the helicopter's about to take off right now. Gracie, we don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss this. It's an event for all. Gather around, everybody. No, wait a second. There it goes, Gracie, coming from the bushes. No! <laughs> We're no, that's not for you. Look at there it goes. Yeah, so this dog park here is like that's where you go and you go pee pee if you're a boy dog and then it's got this little like <laughs> this little strange like thing made out of pool pipes like a pool cleaner thing and your dog runs and jumps through it so gracefully and then it also has this little sprinkler that you turn on and It says pets are welcome. This is the paw park for Fantasy World Resort. There is no Fantasy World Resort here. I have no idea. We through these bushes right here, that over there across the river is the resort. It's definitely not for the Magic Castle because I mean, it, it just it wouldn't make sense. It's not for those apartments. It's not for the bank. So, I don't know, but she likes it. Do you like it? <laughs> I'm gonna get your butt. I'm gonna get your butt. I'm gonna get your butt. I get your butt. <laughs> Today, what we're going to learn here at this dog park is how to jump through a hoop. Are you ready? Lesson one. You're missing your lesson. Look. You go like this. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, I'm fitting. Oh, yeah, I did it. Sweetie, if I can do it, you can do it. Come on. Well, I guess you can see the checkers now. Okay, the mystery has been solved. That says that it's Fantasy World, but it is definitely abandoned, which is kind of bizarre because the water's still running over there and the grass looks maintained. But you can tell that whatever this fantasy world is, it's obviously not a resort, but it's definitely abandoned. Maybe I will drive by here again and see what's really going on. Gracie? Hello. Woohoo! So, we are at Rock and Brews because they have a dog friendly patio. So, we're gonna go do that. I think that sounds like a really good time. A rocking good time. Let's go do that, because it's a rocking good time. Are you excited? It's your favorite song. I don't even know what the song is. Woohoo, honey bun. <laughs> so, we have a doggy menu here. Okay, so this is the doggy menu. And you can get some chicken, brown rice, sweet potato. She would love that. Bacon strips, belly rub. Hey, honey, you having fun? Look at your daily whaley. There you go. Looky, looky. You like it? You like it? Oh, I forgot to order you a beer. I am such a bad parent. I just spilled my water almost. I didn't spill it, but I almost did. I whacked it with the menu and it went. But I did it. But I did it. Oh, wait, where are you? There you are. Looky. Look at here it comes! Oh my goodness! Look at that! Oh. <laughs> Don't take it off! The I saw you bite that. Like I'm taking that off of here. I got some kind of maple chicken thing, and it looks really good. It's grilled chicken, mashed potatoes, and corn, which is like uh, my favorite. He's like begging and begging for more food. And, oh, you see that? So we're gonna order her another meal. Crazy! Two meal! See, look, she keeps peeking her head out and she's like, snacks for me, please? 
A little snacky do for me, please, mommy. Right? Down the alarms. Gracie's drinking. She's doing it. She's having a beverage. So I had to prematurely take that away from her because she's gonna get too fat. I just don't want her to eat like too much where she gets a belly ache. So I'm just gonna take little bittles of it before she like eats the whole thing and consumes the entire confection. Much too good for children. On the way out, I found this Pink Floyd wall. Gracie loves Pink Floyd. So I wanted to go to Universal real quick because like, you know, it's closing in two hours and you have to go down and then you go back up and you go back down and then you wait in a line and go through security. Okay, we made it. We're through it. We're through the security. It was a little rough. Probably took about like 10 extra minutes, but not the worst. I was just gifted the best news ever. It is still Mardi Gras here. So let's go partake in that and ride E.T. Always good to see you, garlic man. Mardi Gras 2021, international flavors of Canaveral. Carnival. Whoops. Always good to see you, garlic man. I'm literally looking for one specific thing. It's like a windbreaker, and I'm, I'm needing to have it. And if I can't find it, I don't know what I'll probably just die. That's it. I have that. I don't have that, but I want this. So it appears that whatever I was looking for, which I know what I was looking for, is not able to be acquired in there. The mask I wanted is there, but my colorblind self thought this whole entire time that it was black and it's purple. So I only wear black, that's a no-go. I am so thrilled that I was able to make it and see Mardi Gras. I mean, I don't know how much I can do in two hours, but I'm ready to try. Right here, we have bead tossing. It's the annual tossing of the beads. Oh no, I didn't catch it. Oh, come on, baby. Bonita. Okay, right here at this little stand called New Orleans is the Purple Haze drink, and that is actually a beer for Mardi Gras. And obviously, that's what we're doing today. I have a bead on. I have to give this guy my receipt, and my eye level is down here underneath of the counter. So for me to reach up here and give him this, I have to climb up and in. Just a, a drink for me, please. This is small person out here. Look at this little baby beer. I could drink it while I'm sleeping. Don't love it, don't hate it. It's okay. Well, that's a cool float. It's like a pirate float. So it's kind of like the people that clean your pool in the summertime. They're all pirates. And I did it this time. Woohoo! Now we have two beads acquired. Okay, this is the tribute store and it's themed like a jazz club. Oh, oh no. Oh my goodness. What? I have never been in here for Halloween, for Horror Nights when I was here. Uh, uh, uh. So the master buy one get one free, so I'm gonna get two of them. I know I said I didn't want one, but I do now because if I don't get one. I can get a duck, a hat, a license plate. Oh my, it's a spooky graveyard. Oh no, I love it. I love it, I love it even more. Look at this. I can't get over it. I, I can't, there's, listen to the sounds. It's like the tree on your way out. Super impressed, super excited, loving this. And there he is in the, not flesh, but Earl the Squirrel, bit an electric cord 44 years ago, right on Universal property, and has been haunting ever since. So I'm thinking I'm leaving, and I'm like, oh, I gotta go pay for my little mask. No, you're wrong, because the pirate room. Mouths are moving. Look at that, Richard. And you eat that while it's biting you. You're biting it. Like I said, good to see you, garlic man. Under such rare conditions. Time to go and down by you. And I have this, but it's not what I'm looking for. I've seen this shirt, 
it's a, like a windbreaker thing. And I do love this, but that's only second choice. And I love this too, but it's not it. Coming out of the Horror Nights walkway, we have pirates and magic. Wow, that's some intense stuff. I'm not even over to the ET entrance yet and I could already smell it in all of its glory. At this moment in time, I am so thankful to have the Express Pass. Don't tell anybody, but I'm gonna tell her a fake name. A fake one. Or not any name, because she didn't even ask, but okay. Oh no, we don't. Oh no, we don't. Oh yes, we do. Oh boy, we do. No, 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 don't. Let's knock these trees over and go to Takiki. Oh no, not the police! Hey! Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, we are flying. And we are getting away. It's like Peter Pan! Come home. Finding Nemo. That's probably what this all reminds me of the most. I'll be. I I'll be. See, this is beautiful and everything, but the thing is, is never mind. There he is. Isn't life beautiful? Sometimes it is. Sometimes, you know, you just, you, you give and you give and you try and you try and that's enough of that story. Nobody goes to Orlando like Atlanta. All right, we found another Mardi Gras stand. It's Germany and I'll have you know that I'm Polish. So here the light beer is the Kristall. And I also ordered this pretzel. I didn't really, but do you think it'd be gross if I took it right now? It's probably been sitting out here all day and touched by many folks, including myself. Hard as a rock. Yep, this is the stuff that I like in life. These kind of lights, this kind of light in the air, like, you know, dusk. He's dead. They're gonna have a water shower going on. Too slow. There goes your toes. Oh no. <laughs> Is it cheap of me to steal the show from someone else? Yeah. Now we are going to ride Men in Black. And I have not rode this maybe four or five years. Maybe. My birthday when I was turning 26. That's so funny. So, 27, 28, 29, 30. Five years ago, probably to the date. Probably. Wow, the theme in here is like 1980s. Have you met the new neighbors? WandaVision, WandaVision. Swamp gas or space visitors? Or my, do they eat? Fun fact that nobody cares about, I have been down there. Oh no, oh no, it's the big kahuna. Oh my goodness, here they come, we're gonna get them all. Kill them, get them all, poison them, drown them, bash them on the head. I don't care what you do, little beast. Probably a good good year. So I like Men in Black better because I haven't been a Galactic Hero in so long. Ooh, you caught me looking at your high knee. This stands for No One Loves Los Angeles. Okay, and what trip to Universal Studios is complete without Diagon Alley? No trip. That's the answer that we're all looking for. The train is coming. All right, Lassie. It's our last chance to board. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I am British and I have this. 
Oh no, not Hedwig. Oh no. Thank you. You may, you may take photographs if you must. As nighttime falls here at Universal Orlando Resort, the Mardi Gras floats, glow with spectacles of lights and colors and sounds. As our day comes to an end, we gather to relive these incredible we moments. We gather here tonight around the fire. Our cinematic celebration. Well, fireworks just happened. I did not catch them, but I'm not too fast and furious, so I guess I wouldn't. They could have people out here right now as we're all leaving, throwing beads, saying goodbye, have a good night. Hope you had a wonderful time. Bye bye. But look at that. A party of filleted alligators. What part would you want to eat? For me, none. I'm vegan. I wouldn't eat any of it. But what a sassy, beautiful little gator we've got here. Mask and crown and all. What a beauty. Today we are at Big Fire, across the street from Hard Rock, in the middle of City Walk, and we are going to try out the Bison Burger here and see if it's worth going out of our way for. Food is out, it's french fries, it's, it's a burger, it's a burger with cheese. This might be the definition of don't be suspicious, but I won't tell you any more than what I already know. So the s'mores are out. We got graham crackers, vanilla chocolate marshmallow, chocolate, marshmallow, Reese cups, graham crackers, fire. I just consumed my first s'more. I had chocolate marshmallow, graham cracker, and chocolate. It was good. Now I'm going in for like something ultimate cool. If you don't like to have fire marshmallows, don't do this. So it was really fun. Um, a little bit more than I can like actually handle alone, but I ate bites. Well, I had fun. I enjoyed it. If you know me, you know I love s'mores. It was really fun. Too much chocolate, but hey, I mean, you live and you learn. And my birthday I'm 30 years old 30 nothing more nothing less 30 years old celebrating by myself good times and if I don't do this last final thing there was no point in even coming to Universal today so goodbye 2020